just about 10 seconds. So I'm pretty sure everybody's on that's been here before. Standard fit mill format. My name is Lori and we're gonna be doing some cardio and strength using our broomstick today. Uh, or a PVC pipe if you happen to have one. Or maybe you have a really light barbell you could use. Um, each round is six and a half minutes. You're gonna work for 30 seconds each exercise and do that three times. So I'll tell you what to do. You don't have to worry. You guys are ready to go. Nice and warmed up. We're gonna get started in 10 seconds, hopping over side to side. You can start with a single foot, kind of like this to get yourself nice and warmed up. Or if you're ready, you can go right into your single hop. Make sure you go over it so you don't drag it with you. Okay, or side to side, easy peasy. Nice, getting warmed up. That's all we're doing here, halfway done. I keep tripping. <laughs> you can also keep one foot elevated if you're hitting it. In three, two, we're gonna pick up that broomstick, put it behind your head. You're gonna hinge forward, feel that stretch in your low, uh, hamstrings and push up through your heel. This is called a good morning for that reason. So feel your body hinge forward, dig through the heels. It's kind of like a deadlift from the top half. So you should feel your hamstrings working and a stretch. Three, in five seconds, we're gonna take that broomstick overhead for squats. So hold that broomstick and drop it down in your squat as low as you can without collapsing forward. So keep pressing up on that bar, pull it away. I'm gonna call it a bar, okay? Cause that's just <laughs> my jam. Uh, but hold it and then squat down low as you can. This is your warm up. So if you're just partial range of motion, that's fine. In three, two, we're gonna ditch it and go into a sumo. So nice and wide stance, squat jump. So sumo, squat jump. Or if you're not ready for that, just sumo squat, toe lift. Sumo squat, toe lift. Your choice here. So we're here for 10 more seconds. Almost there. Three, two, all right, there's your rest. So get your bodies nice and warmed up. You are gonna hear me huffing and puffing. I'm always a heavy breather, so <laughs> I'm, I'll be here suffering with you. Three, two, remember, keep that on the ground. Here we go, hop over. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this, the foot that's on the inside elevated so I can go a little faster. But you do you. If you like going over two or over one, your choice. We got less than 10. In three, two, grab that barbell, put it behind your head, hinge forward and up for your good morning. So our legs stay a little bit of a soft bend, flat back, dig through the heels to press up. Okay, this is a sneaky little deadlift. You're gonna feel the stretch. Feel your hamstrings working. Almost there. We're gonna pop that bar up in three, two, hold it up, squat it down. Hold it up, squat it down. Try to keep your chest lifted. It's hard in this, <coughs> this position if you don't have good range of motion. You can widen your hands. Makes it a little bit easier. Or, Test that mobility. See if you can go a little closer. Hands together. All right, three, two. It's time for those sumo squat jumps. You can always, if you're just doing sumo squats, hold on and lift. Hold on and lift. Don't forget to start your watch. Like me, I always forget. Almost there. But use that uh, if you want to, that broomstick. Three, two, all right, there's your rest. 
So remember your bars going on the ground again. Starting with those hopovers last time. Good morning, here we go. In three, two, and let's do it. Over and back, side to side. Job, you guys. I love the zoom so I can see you. All right, you're almost there. Start your morning off strong. Here we go. Three, two, grab that bar, hinge forward for your good mornings. Hinge and dig those hips in. Almost floating the toes so you're really feeling that stretch. This is a mobility exercise also, so enjoy that stretch. And come on up slow. Slowly. Sorry, if I was an English teacher, I shouldn't say that. Less than 10. And we're going to pop that up in three, two. All right. Bar up. Drop it down for your squat. Overhead squats here. Awesome. And getting those legs nice and warmed up. For the next one, we're going to use the bar as a pole kind of in the ground. Less than 10 right here. And we're going to go sumo squat jumps. I'm going to use the bar. I'll show you three, two. I'm going to use it right here to kind of help lift myself up, push off of it. So if you want to do that, it's kind of nice. <laughs> into a donkey standing. So you're going to be with your pole, hinge forward, fire hydrant, you have to do a little balance, donkey, fire hydrant, the donkey kick. And then we're going to go high knees, you're going to hold it out, try to get your knees up, jumping or standing. So ready, three, two, one, so hinge forward, fire hydrant, donkey kick, stay on the same leg. Lift it out to the side, lift it up behind you. So this is about balance. If you need to tilt it up, every now and again, no worries. Oops. Good. Feel that, three, two. All right, you're gonna hold that bar out. Lift your knees or lift your knees. However you're feeling already. Okay, slow lift or high lift. I mean jump. All right. Stick with it. You've got 10 seconds. We're going the other side. Fire hydrant donkey in three, two, one. Here we go. So fire hydrant to donkey. Lift it out. Find your balance. I know it's early. <laughs> Find that spot. It's important we train our brain in balance. Also, not just strength. Less than 10. Yep. Oh gosh, you ready? Okay, alternating pistols. So hold it down. Just go as low as you can. And then back up, other side. Using the, the uh, pole as your guide. So if you can go all the way down, go ahead. Make sure you are keeping your heel on the ground. That's it. Just go as low as you can. Three, two, and rest. Okay. If, if you have something to hold on to, for your pistols, like a beam in your home or something like a post, you can do that and maybe get a little lower. 
if you want. All right, ready, set, go. Here it is, fire hydrant to a donkey kick. You got it. Feel that booty working, firing up. Ah. Don't look at me. <laughs> Almost there. Three, two, it's time for the high knees. So lifting or jumping. Good. I'm just gonna lift so I can still talk to you. But jump, I see you jumping over there, good job. Almost there. Keep it tight while you're jumping. Less than 10. Almost there. Three, two. All right, fire hydrant donkey, other side. Lift and back. So leading with that knee and then leading with the heel. Nice job finding that balance. Every balance check is a little core exercise. Think about that. We'll be doing a lot of core coming up. You've got 10 seconds. And we're moving to those alternating pistols. Three, two, and let it go. So you can, if you want to try a real pistol, grab onto your hand. It's a little early for me. And lift all the way up through there. Or just go as low as you can and switching sides. But I think some of you might have the strength to get a couple in real ones, maybe on the next round. In three, two, all right, here's your rest. It's kind of a fun party trick, the pistol. I used to, when I taught school, I used to have one do it. So you can always try with your kids, see if they can do one. Here we go, three, two, fire hydrant and donkey on that first side. Final two minutes of this station, and then we're gonna move onto the ground. Nice. Beautiful balancing. Your core is zipped up, locked in tight. Where is it? It's time falling. <laughs> Less than 10. Here we go. Three, two. You know it's coming, those high knees. Here we go. Lift them or jump them. Maybe five jumps and five lifts if you're struggling. Good. Or just lift or jump. However you're feeling. That's it. Hold it out there. Lock in your core. Jump. You're almost there. Less than 10. Right here. Don't stop. You can do this. In three, two. All right. Final minute. Fire either to donkey. Other side. Good. Slow and controlled here. It's not a race. into that bar for your balance. You're almost there. Ooh, three, two, and it's time for those pistols. So you can use that pole or if you have something to actually hold or you want to just try it. Okay, dropping down, dropping back up. Ten more seconds. That's it. One more each side. Here we go. Three, two, and there it is. Okay. We're going to start on the ground with flutter kicks on our belly. So we're going to hold the bar out and up and swim our legs. Then we're, we're going to pop up and do shoulder taps. And then we're going to come up off the ground. So kind of a lot of moving here. But I know you guys can handle it. So we're starting laying down on our tummies. You're gonna reach that bar up and flutter kick behind you. Three, two, one, go. So lift that bar and kick, kick, kick. Good. Swim, swim, swim those legs. I don't know if you can see. 
No, that's me. Okay. Three, two. All right. Pop up in that high plank position. You're going into your shoulder taps. That's it. Keep with those shoulder taps. That's it, my friends. Here, there. Okay. There we go. And three, two, come up, grab that bar, hold it. You're steering, you're steering that bus. You're down low in your squat. Yes. I don't have an answer for that. Oops. Is this? Siri thought I was talking to her. <laughs> Less than 10. Good, we're gonna jump over it in five. Get to your destination. Three, two. All right, put it down, popping over. Big jump soft squat landing. Go ahead, explode up. Use those hands. Powerful movements here. Ten seconds. And, all right, there's our last rest here. We're gonna go through this one more time and then move on. All right, three, two, we're on that ground again, holding the bar up and kick, kick, kicking. Lifting that chest as much as you can that's comfortable for your back. Feel this through your glutes, your legs your core. We're almost there. Three, two, time to pop up in that plank for your shoulder taps. Good, holding it up. That's it. Oh, 
almost there. 10 seconds. In three, two, all right, grab that bar. Hold down your squat, steer the bus. That's it. Good, everything's nice and controlled, but we still wanna keep those heart rates up. Ten seconds. See if you can drop a little lower. Here we go. Three, two. All right, place that bar on the ground. Broad jumps. Over your broomstick. It's like in some weddings, I think they do this. I think they jump over a broom. 10 seconds. Go ahead, challenge yourself. Get a couple more. Three, two, there's the bell. All right, my friends, we're going back on the ground again. It is a lot of core today. We're gonna ab roll up. So we're gonna hold it out and roll up with that bar. And then we're gonna hold it out, an oblique twist. And then we're gonna side plank without the, the broomstick. Okay. So ab roll coming in three, two. I'm sorry, I forgot. You can elevate one leg in tabletop and bring it in, alternating. So bring that one knee in, roll down, bring the other leg up, roll it down. Good, really feel that spine kind of curl to lower. In three, two, all right, hold it up and twist it side to side. Following your eyes, follow that broomstick. Woo. Oh, you can, if you're feeling extra fancy, you can elevate those feet. All right, you've got less than 10 right here. Almost there. In three, two, and drop that um, broomstick. We're coming into your side plank. So you can be up high on your hand. You could have a knee down to help you, or you could even try to lift that upper leg once you get situated. All right, but side plank, you can be up high or on your forearm if that feels better, less than 10. And we're just gonna go to the other side. In three, two, switch sides. So hold it here or lift that leg or just hold it here, it's plenty. Lock it in, really pressing that ground away from you, keeping your shoulder engaged. Everything is squeezed nice and tight, less than 10, almost there actually. Rest is coming in three, two. All right, here's your rest. Whew. I guess I had abs on the brain when I was planning this one, so. Here we go, ab roll up. So if you noticed, I had my feet down and one would come up and then the other will come up, all right? So we're right back into it. One leg comes up, down, the other comes up. And down. So just alternating, ab roll up with the bar out, alternating legs. You got 10 seconds. Three, two, all right, hold it up and twist it side to side for that oblique twist. Whew. Careful of your back, wanting to round. If you need to break it all, stretch it forward and come back into it. Almost there. Three, two. All right, get you for your side plank. like 
we should sing a song or do a dance here since we have no music going. So I know you're all muted, so I won't be the one to subject you to that. 10 seconds right here, holding it tight. Oh my gosh, my obliques are on fire. I don't know about you. Three, two, and switch sides. All right, today, probably if you have the time, and you get a break in the rain, it would be a great day for a little extra walk or anything. It's not like we did a ton of cardio here. You're halfway there. I've got some more for you though. And less than 10 right here, hold it. Three, two, all right, there's your break. All right, we're going back into those ab roll-ups in three, two, and here we go. Alternating legs coming up nice and proud chest and controlled movements all the way up and all the way down. Nice, you're less, less than 10 right here, almost there. In three, two, all right, it's time for those obliques. Whew. Oh, I don't know about you, I've been working at the computer a lot, so my back is not loving me. Less than 10. Whew. Almost there. Three. Two. All right, time for that side plank. Almost there. We're going to switch sides in three. Two. All right, let's switch sides. Oh, killing it. I hope you have good plans for the rest of your day. Really locking everything in nice and tight, keeping that arm elevated. See if you can lift that leg. I see you guys lifting that top leg. Once you've got that balance and the stability, try to challenge yourself. You are in that home stretch right here. 10 seconds. Whew. Coming up. In three. Two, all right. Woo. All right, my friends, we're going to hold the bar here and nice wide feet, toes pointed out, and we're just gonna do a sumo squat. If you wanna stay down in a half range of motion, go for it. Okay, but the next one is gonna be a holding and a pose lifted pulse. So your choice. Three, two, one. Here we go. Full sumo squat all the way up and down or partial range of motion. So you want to be tucked here. This is that bar move. So instead of normal booty out, we want to kind of tuck that pelvis in. So we're one line as we lower down. Nice tall chest. 10 seconds. You're almost there. We're gonna hold it down, toes come up in three, two, one, toes come up and we're pulsing here. So same thing, tucking that pelvis, pulse and hold. See if you can hold it the whole entire time. It's gonna start burning. We can do this together. After this, we're gonna lunge and lift and then we're gonna go skipping. All right, less than 10. Woo. Almost there, almost there. Three, two, all right, come up out of it. Hold that bar up, lunge it forward, and lift each time. So you can lunge forward or backwards, whatever feels better for your knees and your coordination. I like to lunge backwards. I find it works my hamstrings more than my glutes, I mean my quads, if I do it that way. 
your choice. In three, two. All right, we're going to skip here. So ditch the broomstick and you're going to skip up as high as you can. So big lift up. If you don't have room, just do it in one kind of little tiny circle. If you do, go around your house. Less than 10. That's it. And there's your first rest. Whew. Okay. Here we go again. In three, two, sumo squat. Down and up. Good. I'm enjoying full range of motion here, but feel free to take it to a partial. Just knowing though we are about to do some holding there. Static work. Three, two, hold it down. Toes are up and pulse. Make sure you're nice, tall, not rounded, not leaning forward. Pelvis is tucked. Almost there, you've got 10 seconds. Coming into that lunge in three, two, here we go, lunging it up and back down. Alternating legs here. Oh, my legs are dying. All right, we're on our second to last one here. Almost there, 10 seconds. In three, two, and it's time to skip. You can even skip with that post or a bar if you don't wanna ditch it. See how high you can get. That's it, stick with it. 10 seconds. In three, two. All right, there's your final rest here. <clears throat> Good job. All right, coming up with those sumo squats again. Feet are pointing just slightly out. Nice and wide stance. Three, two, here we go. Down and up. <clears throat> Good, make sure you've got about 80% of your weight, I would say, 70% in those heels. Really driving through to lift and squeeze up at the top. Making everything just a little more challenging. Three, two, it's time to hold it down. Lift those toes and pulse. It. So the bar is here just as your guide, right? We're not relying on it. It's just there to remind me where to be, support my back a little bit. I don't want to be hanging on to it. Less than 10. In three, two. All right, it's time for those lunges. <clears throat> Lunge it back and lift. <clears throat> It. Lowering that back knee down as low as possible. In three, two. All right, it's time to skip. The big jump up. Here. 
in three, two, all right. Here it is, our final six and a half minutes. We are gonna be on the ground again. This time it's bicycles with lifted arms, or I should say, not really bicycles, but heels out, alternating, pressing it out, and then we're gonna go V-ups with the bar, one knee push-ups, and then oblique mountain climbers. So ready, set. So lift those arms up, and press the heels out. So kind of lifting that chest up off the ground, arms are nice and stationary, lead with the heels, out and out. If your neck needs a break, relax it down. Otherwise, stay to, try to stay up and pressing out through those heels. Almost there. Three, Two, all right, arms are long, legs are long, bars in our hands, and we're gonna meet in the middle. Arms long, legs long, meet in the middle. You can bend your knees or keep them straight for that real V up if you can, all right? <clears throat> Hold it down, up into that V. Good, 10 seconds. In three, Two, all right, one knee push up. So alternating knees, you're gonna be on that one knee, come down, switch sides, other knee. I need a little pad. So switching sides. Ooh, I have a nice sweat angel on the ground. If you are extra strong or feeling really awesome today, take this to a high push up with one leg up, alternating. All right, now we're gonna pop up high on those hands and oblique mountain climbers. So crossing those knees over inside your elbow. Nice quick pace here, getting that heart rate back up. You've got 10 seconds, don't stop. <clears throat> I see you moving fast, good job. Almost there, three, Two, all right, <clears throat> good job. Next one <clears throat> is those heels out, arms lifted. We're starting in five, <clears throat> excuse me. In three, two, here we go, heels out. The lower you can go, the harder it'll be on your back. So make sure you're pressing your back into the ground. Less than 10. In three, two, all right, here it is. That V up, so arms long, legs long, come up and meet in the middle. I like to give it like a two second pause up at the top. Ten seconds. In three, two. All right, one knee or one leg push ups. Whatever you're into. If you're doing the one leg, you're lifting that one leg, come down and alternating sides. Same thing with the knee. So just come down into your push up. On one knee elevated, other knee to switch sides. Coming into those mountain climbers in three, two, all right, here we go. Ending this round strong on those mountain climbers. <clears throat> Almost there. Keep moving, keep moving, here we go. Three, two, all right, there's your rest. <clears throat> all right, final two minutes coming in you, at you right here. <clears throat> all 
All right, here we go. Bicycles with those arms up. That's it. If you want to make this harder, you can hold your feet out and flutter. If this feels too easy for you, you got 10 seconds. Three, two, all right, coming up into those V-ups, arms long, legs long, lift up, meet in the middle, good, hold it there for two, and back, slow down, good, less than 10, right here, almost done. Three, two. All right, it's time for those one knee or one legged push ups. Whew, I'm slipping all over here. That's it, almost there, less than 10. And we're going into mountain climbers. Here we go, three, two. All right, finish strong with those mountain climbers. Here they are. Almost there, less than 10. There's the bell. All right. All right, YouTube, thanks so much for joining us.